I've got a quick 10 minutes before I've got to go and get Daryl, so I thought I'd jump on and do part of the video. Um, I've already done the stenciling as you can see, and here's a quick video showing you how I did it. Same as usual, you know, there was some sort of wonder at the end of that as to whether I'd done the nine or an upside, upside down six. I ended up looking it up online and that is in fact the correct one. So that's good, that's something. So we're going to quickly blast through. Um, today is uh, Tuesday the 19th of March. It is 2.30pm and it's time for today in my bujo. Yay! So, how are you? Are you good? Are you having a good day? I hope so. Let's quickly... I still have the stomach cake, which I'm getting a bit hacked off about now. It just seems to be the minute I eat something, I feel quite poorly. There's no pen, there is. Um, but, you know... Not a lot I can do about it. That's me, night face cream and me hand cream. I did not pull a card this morning because I literally had to, we were late because we overslept and then Daryl, I'm not doing that yet. <laughs> um, Daryl didn't have anything for his lunchbox. I had to go shopping and oh my God. Uh, steps. Yesterday. Ooh, that, oh wow, that's really freaky. I got twelve hundred eighty-eight, twelve thousand eight hundred eighty-six steps yesterday, and I'm on twelve thousand eight hundred seventy so far today. That freaked me out a little bit there. All right, uh, ooh, no. let's take this out of here. Just make it a bit easier to do. Not as good as I have done, but considering that I spent the afternoon in so much pain. So, so much pain, and I'm still suffering today. It's a bit messy, never mind. <laughs> I made another book after I'd done the video last night, and um, it was a better, better, not brilliant. Um, I've got gaps between my signatures, and I don't know why, even though I did it as tightly as I could. So, I'll show you all later on when I do tonight's. Uh, I put the dish, I did the dishwasher. Oh yeah, I did that, but I didn't mop the floor. That was it. There you go. And my word of the day was notebook. So let's just quickly. I'm wondering if this pen is any different. It looks like it should be. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to try it. So this is... It's got black on it, look. This is today's, uh, yesterday's pen. Oh, yeah, it is a different shade. I don't know how different it looks to you guys, but it is slightly different, so... annoys me that it tends to smudge put artist pen that's been down for a bloody month. Alright, so far today I have worn my day face cream. Yeah, one of these days I wore makeup but I can't remember which one. I haven't written in that I wore makeup. I know I will make up, I just can't remember what that is. It's only mascara and lipstick. Is it yesterday? Do you know, I honestly can't remember. Oh well. We'll do that a bit later. How frustrating. Program crashed. Luckily, I happened to glance up just as it crashed, which was bloody annoying. Um, anyway, I slept from midnight until. Quarter past seven. 
and it was actually quite a good sleep so I'm gonna go one up on the, even though I was in loads of pain once I got off to sleep I sort of seemed to stay there which was a bit of a relief because there's nothing worse than being in pain and having it disrupt your bloody sleep yes um, I suffer from IBS and um, something set me off I don't know what but oh the pain but it only seems to be really really bad when I'm sort of sat over my desk and I go from sitting down to standing up and it's like oh shit you know well or not as the case may be um, and it, it, it hurts I'm not going to deny it it hurts right 12 8, 8, 6 which one is the thin one that one so we did 12, 8, 8, 6, 5.41 miles. Brilliant stuff. <sighs> I don't think, you know, I had, I've cleaned the loo, I think. Yeah, I cleaned the loo earlier, and that's it so far. I have to do everything when I get home. It's the 19th, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I love these pens, but they pick up the pet artist pen, even though I drew this a month ago, you know? Yeah, about 20 odd days ago, it's just like we shouldn't be picking it up, you know? Right, weather. Same as yesterday. Started out alright, and now it looks like I might actually get wet on the school run. Yeah, look at that. <sighs> I'm going to turn it so that, I, like I did that one. Let's see if I can draw it in between the rings. Keyboard out of the way so I don't hit space bar and switch you off again. Let's see, we've got 8 and 12. The sun came up at, I'm not going to be able to do this, 0, 06 11 and we'll go down at 6 15 pm. Oh, there goes Pinhead again. Look, say hi, Pinhead. There's not actually enough room to stand him just in well he does just stand but this book keeps hitting him so he gets thrown across the room right now let's see my appointment with john got moved that night i've got to write gerda a postcard i'll get daryl to color it as well um I'll start sketching April tonight as well, I think, once I get home from having my nails done. And uh, yeah, now we're up to this bit. So I'm going to go because I've got to rush off and pick up Daryl. I was going to quickly do my writing, but I literally do not have time. I've got five minutes to get up the road. So, see you in a bit. It's the evening edition. New nails. What do you think? Aren't they just like mega cool? Can't wait to see what they look like in sunlight. Really pleased with those. Really pleased. Anyway, <laughs> that's not what we're here to talk about. Although you lot seem to love long nails and all that lot. So do I. I mean, God, they're sexy as fuck, aren't they? Let's have a look. What have we got to do? I have done. I did not wear makeup. I'm about to do the challenges. I have not had booze. I have not had caffeine or chips. I'm possibly going to craft in a minute actually, so I'm hoping that I can get away with not filling it with them, um, filling that one in a bit later or maybe tomorrow. We'll do the rest as we go. An evening edition tonight. We're going back to how it was a week or so ago. So, hmm. I'd say my mood has sort of stuck around about there. Shut up, phone. My pain's come down a fair bit now, so I feel a bit better today. I'm still having problems. 
but um, you know, we'll get there. We will get there. I'm going to eat onions tomorrow. Onions usually get things moving. I uh, can't do steps yet because, you know, it's only 9pm and I might do a little bit more. Um, I literally haven't done any tasks. That's the trouble. My nail appointment was early today, so, you know, I didn't actually have the evening to do the stuff that I would normally do. So, I did my nail appointment. Scavenger hunt is done, but not yet posted. I'll do that in a sec. Um, yep, that's about it. <coughs> so, let's get this set up. And then I've got some goodies to show you all. Which I think you might like. Hmm. Sunday. I know you guys probably can't see that very well due to the yellow. Right. Mm. We're going to use a blue Kelly Creates pen. And we'll do the words quick. Okay, the word for today is galaxy. Asteroid. No, I'm not going to draw anything like majorly complex. I am literally going to draw little cartoony butterflies because I think every now and then the world needs cartoony butterflies. There we go. I'm not even going to colour them in because oh, I think they're quite cool like that. So, there you go. Quick and easy. So, I want to see what I got in the post today. First things I got was a load of washi. I got a pretty sort of peachy orangey deal, which I quite like, very flowery. I got banner. I think it's so cool. I've got this lovely, lovely pink flowery washi and a garden type one, which I think would be really pretty. And then I've got this lovely purple sort of, uh, I think it's lavender. The only thing I'm a bit bummed about is it seems to be an uppy downy washi rather than a crossy washi. A crossy washi. Oh dear, I cracked myself up. I got a circle stencil, yay! So, this is going to make an appearance quite soon in one of my spreads, or maybe even on the covers of the new journals. Um, I got this stamp. This is a really cool stamp set. This is a collaboration between like all of these. Old to New, I've not heard of those. Um, Gina Kay, I've heard of. Jennifer Maguire, I watch her videos, she's here on YouTube. Lawn Fawn, I've got some of theirs. Concord and Ninth, Hero Arts, uh, Waffle Flower. So yeah, and each one of these is from a different designer, which I think is really, really clever. So that just arrived today as well. And my books are ready. This one still looks slightly battered. It's not showing up too well on camera. Um, you might be able to see the glue streaks more on that one, but I think once I've sort of drawn over that, it's not going to be that noticeable. My only bummer is, and it's on both of my notebooks, is the gap. I expected it on this one because I got the signatures, the, it was very, very loose at the top, so I kind of expected it. So when I did the second one, I really pulled it quite tight, 
and I was like, yay, look how smooth it is, look how fucking, it's brilliant, and I was showing my son, and I was really, really pleased, until it went like that, and there's another gap, and that's not a small gap either, guys, that is, you know, fucking about half a centimetre, that is absurd, that is three mil, yeah, it's about a three mil gap, and I'm bummed, really bummed so those of you that are in the know how do I stop that from happening you know I know that one um, video I watched she used ribbon before she did the rest of it you know she sewed the signatures and as she sewed it after she sewed it she like glued this ribbon into place to keep it tight is that what i need to do but i don't know that other people do that i'm really bummed okay i realize it is only literally going to be on two spreads that this is going to happen but if that falls in the middle of like my fucking tracker or something i am going to be so pissed off that is such a gap i don't mind it if it's on like you know one of these pages because you know it doesn't really matter but if it's on something that i want to spread over the two pages I'm gonna be so pissed off <laughs> uh, so yeah you know even if it's across one of my weeklies I'm gonna be quite upset about that so what am I doing wrong when I sew it together because I held that really tight I pulled my threads all tight and I, you know, I did everything I was supposed to do so I'm doing something wrong but you know I have books for April and May <laughs> um, I don't mind that they are a bit crap because like the rest of my journal these are going to show my progress and as i go through and i make more and i get better at it that will show in my progress so i'm going to sign off here tomorrow night there will be a live it might be a regular weekly setup live but it might also be, let's actually get on and use one of these um, and start setting up April. One of these should be big enough. It might actually be too many pages because where I've only been doing half pages, but then I would like to do more art journaling in here. I've also ordered a sprocket that's coming tomorrow. So I'm hoping to put a lot more pictures in. The reason I don't use as many pictures is because the way that I do it, and I'll link to the photo video up in the cloud uh, up in the cloud on the cards um the way that i do it is on a seven by five sheet and i wait until i've got six so that was a photo that i had done of my nails back in january okay and i wait until i've got six so that i'm printing you know only itty bitty photos Sometimes I don't take photos for several days. If I'm stuck at home not doing anything, I don't take photos. So I think I would take more if I could just take them, print them, peel it off and stick it in here. That's the plan. So I'm hoping I will use a lot more um, space so that it will be one a day. That was the basis I went on when I created these notebooks, which is why there's three signatures per book. There is 60 pages in here because, and I worked it out, and I think I told you this in another video, here we go, I actually need 56 pages per 31 day month, um, there would be obviously 31 daily pages, one for each day, 10 weekly pages, that's based on a five week month, um, my cover page but my cover page is actually going to be the binder of the outside of the book and i might not always use paper i might actually switch to that craft paper stuff because i can get that on like a big roll so that might be a bit better to use um two pages and by pages i mean one side so two pages for my monthly calendar so my monthly calendar would go across here okay um two pages for my square tracker two pages for the card of the day a page for about me, a page for my mood, a page for my mood and pain tracker, a page for my sleep, a page for my steps, two pages for my cleaning tracker, and a couple for the weather because 
I'm not happy with the way that's gone and I've got an idea of what I'm going to do there. So that gives me 56 pages per month. Now I realise doing 60 I've actually given myself a couple of extra but if for whatever reason I decide you know what I'm not happy with that this glue shows through I could always glue that one in place as well and make it just that little bit stronger which I might actually do just for the fun of it. Um, and it just might give it a little bit more you know I mean I'm quite pleased with the back colour the back colour came out really really nice but you know it's options plus I could also do a little bit of scrapbooking um, I did some scrapbooking in my previous journals and I really really enjoyed it so I think tomorrow is going to be setting up that is actually going to be on my back page because it's wrinkly <laughs> but it doesn't matter because my plan is to actually cover this entire thing so tomorrow's live is most likely going to be let's get April set up and also I can't believe I'm saying this oh my god April 2nd is going to be the start of the 100 day challenge my 100 day challenge is 100 days of zen tangles mainly because I mentioned it to Amanda and she thought it was such a fabulous idea and I thought yeah I'm going to jump on that bandwagon so I'm going to hunt around on the internet I know I think Mary darling if you watched this or you or April somebody posted links during the live chat Amanda's chat on Sunday for Zentangle websites and you could post them down below for me so that I can find some sites to use as reference because the issue I have is that I'll do sort of two designs and then my mind goes blank and I can't think of what else to do so if you know of a site that shows you Zentangles please let me know and um, yeah let's do 100 Zentangles so my idea is that I'm going to cover the cover the cover will be covered in Zentangles. Um, it, they will show up in the monthlies, the weeklies. They're going to be all over the place. You're going to be sick of fucking Zentangles by the end of April. And the 100 Day Challenge goes on until July. <laughs> I'm going to be sick of Zentangles. I'm going to hate it. So, yeah, that's the idea. And I want to learn some new fonts as well while we go. So, you know. Anyway, that was my mail haul. That was my journal. That was my plans for tomorrow and April. Um, I'll do a video setting up for next week um not tomorrow but maybe thursday um yeah that's pretty much it right um hope you like nails and um yeah i'll see you tomorrow evening for the live half past seven uk time makes it half past three eastern because they've already sprung forward we have not yet so yeah, half past three Eastern, half past seven UK time, half past eight for Wendy in the Netherlands. So there you go. You've got no excuse because I've told you all now. And if anybody moans at what time is it Pacific and what time is it Central and all of that lot, you know, you need to download this app here that I've got because this is a brilliant app and it will be half past 12 Pacific and half past two Central. Okay. okay. There's this app called Time Buddy. And it does a widget on your iPhone. And you can work out what time everything's going to be. It's brilliant. You can do four time zones. I highly recommend it. I'll, download it. <laughs> I'll put the link down below, actually. Um, I don't know if it does it on Android, but I know it can do it on iOS. All right. See you tomorrow. Have fun. You know what time I'll be here. Good night. <laughs>